Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the second part of this uh, assignment, number 12, on your paper. So let's correct it together. A uh, metal block has a mass of 150 grams and a volume of 50 centimeter cubes. Calculate its density. Will it sink or float? Explain your answer. So again, we will do M equal, V equal, density equal. If we read again, mass, 150 grams. Volume, 50 centimeter cubes. Are the units correct? Yes, grams, centimeter cube, it's good. And will it sink or float? Let's find out. So density, what is the formula? Yes, mass divided by volume, 150 grams divided by 50 centimeter cube. That will give me three grams slash centimeter cube. And because it is higher than one gram per centimeter cube of water, because water is one gram slash milliliter or centimeter cube, then it will sink. Good job. Next, number 13, a piece of wood has a density of 0.8 grams slash centimeter cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and write again all my information. This time my density is given 0 0.8 gram slash centimeter cube and a volume of 100 centimeter cube. What is the mass? We'll write our formula. Replace the letters with the numbers. So 0 0.8 gram slash centimeter cube equal M. I don't know what M is. Divided by the volume, which is 100 centimeter cube. And now to find mass, I must bring this 100 up here. So 0 0.8 gram slash centimeter cube times 100 centimeter cube. Centimeter cube cancel. We end up with 80 grams. So if you wanted to verify using this triangle, remember the trick. Hide the M, hide the M, and now you see the formula appears. So mass equal density times volume. If you wanted to find, let's try that again. If you wanted to try volume, hide the volume, and you end up with mass divided by density. That's how you use that triangle. All right, back to 14. If a liquid has a density, so again, M equal V equal, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> okay, density of 0.9, write it over here and a volume of 200 ml. And the units are correct. ml, grams, we're good. What is the mass? So it'll, same thing as this question. So 0.9 grams slash ml equal m over v. Bring the 200 up here, that's 0.9 gram slash ml times 200 milliliters cancel. You end up with 180 grams. So far, so good. Great. A uh, substance has a mass. There we go. 75 grams and a density 2.5 gram slash centimeter cube. What is the volume question mark? Write your formula, 2.5 grams slash centimeter cube equal 75 grams over volume. Now these two interchange, I'm going to have V equal 75 grams over 2.5 grams slash centimeter cube. The grams cancel. My answer is 30 centimeter cubes. All right, great. I'm sure you're doing great. 16, 
any regular shaped object. So wait, before we do that, we'll do our, we'll write our information as usual. Any regular shaped object is placed in a graduated cylinder containing 50 milliliters of water. All right. So envision, I have a cylinder. It's really important to envision that. And I have an irregular shaped object that is placed in a cylinder that has 50 ml. So here there's 50 milliliters and there's an object inside, like the rock we did in the lab. That's 50. And actually rewind. At first it's 50. And after when I place my object, it went up. When I have my object in there, it went up to 75. Got it? So if the mass of, an ob of that object is 100 grams, so I'm going to write it here, 100 gram, what is the density? So I'm looking for density. And the volume, this is why I need this information here. If the rock took up space, it went from 75 ml minus 50 ml. And my volume is 25 ml. Be careful. Don't just blindly write any of these two numbers. And the rest becomes the same as what we've been doing over and over. So 100 grams divided by 25 ml. And that gives me 4 gram slash ml. So far, so good. Fantastic. 17. A stone is dropped into a container of water, causing the water level, level to rise from 200 to 225. So it's very similar to this question. The mass of the stone is 50 grams. What is the density? What do you think? M equal. V equal. What is M? Yes, 50 gram. What is volume? Well, we have to do the math. 225 ml minus 200 ml. That will give me 25 ml. And lastly, I don't know my density. That's what I'm looking for. So again, 50 divided by 25 ml. 2 gram slash ml. And last but not least, a container filled with water weighs 250 grams. An irregular shaped object is placed in the container causing the total weight to become 450 grams. If the volume of the object is 100, what is the density? So we just did things a little differently. This time we did, we have to find the, the difference in mass, not in volume. So we do 450 grams minus 250 grams. It's a bit like what we did in the lab where I can't, I can't just pour sand directly on the, the scale. I have to weigh it first, weigh the container empty first, then add the mass, the, the sand inside, okay? or the water, same thing. A container filled with water is 250. I place the object, the container causing a total weight to become 450. So that's a different way to find the mass of an object. Um, mind you here should have been the mass of water, but let's just stick to this problem as it is. So we have to subtract regardless of what you do. If you have a mass at first, um, that's 250. Then I add the object and it goes up to 450. Then you know that the difference is 200 grams and the volume is hundred centimeter cube. I don't know what it is. It, this may have been, um, a solid such as, um, sand or other pieces of rock and uh, displace some water, for example. But, and the rest is the same, 200 grams. Oh, write the formula. Divided by 100 centimeter cube, two grams slash centimeter cube. And there you have it. I hope you're ready. Have a nice afternoon, everybody. Bye.